Why is Ireland divided? And why is part of Ireland ruled by the United Kingdom? Hello and welcome back. Here is a five point explanation with some facts you might not know. At the end, a surprising fact. Here's a short potted history. Not the usual dry stuff. Stick around and watch. The ancient Irish were the Picts. They built forts and burial mounds of earth and stone and usually on high ground with a commanding view of any enemies approaching. But in the late 1100s, the Normans invaded Ireland and the English. King John decided to try and subdue the Irish. He had a hard job. He had castles built on strategic sites. Carrickfergus, Malahide and Dublin castles are just some. We will tell you a haunting tale shortly of one of these castles. By the way, if you are liking what we are doing, please follow. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more looks at Irish life and culture from inside the pale. King John's loyal knights were given vast stretches of Irish land to control. This situation continued for the next 230 years. Then from 1539 onwards, Henry VIII of England seized the religious order's assets in England and Ireland to fund his wars and repress the growing influence of Roman Catholicism. Under these suppression laws, seized religious assets were sold off to fund Henry's wars and many of the monasteries and friaries fell into ruins. We promised you a haunting story. In Malahide Castle, home of the Sir Knight Richard de Talbot, reports of spooky sightings go back as long as the castles. Not surprising when you consider the tales of battle. Puck the court jester still sits in his turret with a broken heart, unlucky in love, or the apparition of the lady in white roaming the castle nightly. Then in 1609, under James I of Scotland and England, the plantation of Ulster began and other parts of Ireland as a way of keeping control of Ireland. Northern English and Scottish farmers were given land to farm in Ulster. Thus the seeds of the modern Irish conflict were sown. Fast forward to 1690. In 1690, William of Orange, a Protestant, arrived in Ireland from Holland to remove the Catholic King James II from the English throne. He defeated James at the Battle of the Boyne and at Aughram. James fled to France. And the now Dutch-English Protestant King William and the Protestant religion became the only religion an English monarch was allowed to practice. That is the situation to this day. The abdication of Edward VIII, when he wanted to marry a Catholic divorcee, but had to give up the throne, in 1936 is a more modern example of the result of these ancient battles. You know now why the Protestant faith took control in Britain, fast forward to 1916, when Irish patriots decided Ireland needed her independence. Eventually that was granted, but the six counties of Ulster were kept within the UK as the majority unionist population there were ready from 1912 to fight to keep Ulster British. By 1921, Britain finally had enough and granted limited independence within the Commonwealth to the 26 counties which now make up the Republic of Ireland and were largely in 1921 Catholic dominated. That left the north of Ireland as a Protestant state for a Protestant people and a unionist government largely autonomous was formed by Sir James Craig. However, the Catholic population never felt part of this new Ulster and were kept out of much of the economic benefits that some of the Unionist population gained or more importantly felt that they had gained. The Unionist government's main aim from 1921 was to control the fledgling state in such a way that power never left Unionist hands. Housing was a prime example where in order to vote you had to be a householder. But also by gerrymandering of electoral boundaries, cities like Derry stroke London Derry, where there was a nationalist majority since the inception of the state, the Unionists managed to control the city right up until the 1970s. This led to resentment within the Catholic and mainly nationalist population until in 1969 the civil rights movement was formed, but the brutal attacks on marchers at street protests by the RUC, the paramilitary police force, inflamed more anger and eventually in March 1972. The government of Northern Ireland was removed and direct rule established from London. That is a short explanation why Ireland is divided into two distinct countries. We hope that helps you understand a little of Ireland. By the way, King William of Orange was married to King James, the second's daughter Mary, so they kept their differences within the family. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a follow, a like and subscribe. If you have any comments, we would be delighted to hear them. Please comment below. 
thank you and we hope you will join us in the next one up here. Take care.